All right, so my name is Larissa Worley and I am the Senior Customer Support and Relationship Coordinator for Travel 42. So today we are gonna be going through the new site. This is a quick webinar. So this is basically to show you just the basics of Travel 42. This is great for anyone as a refresher on how to quickly do things within the site. And also great for someone who may not have used Travel 42 before. So right now I am on the non-logged in page. You'll see two buttons in the upper right corner, register now would be a free trial link. So if you wanna try Travel 42 out, definitely click register now to set up a free trial. If you do have a subscription currently, you can click sign in up here in the upper right corner. Now for anyone who might not have a subscription, we do offer a 14 day free trial to try out the subscription. Um, please let us know after the webinar, of course, if you have a, a group that's wanting to sign up or if it's just a single subscription, we can accommodate any sorts of the subscriptions that are required. Um, so this is the logged in homepage. So this is gonna be your dashboard. You'll know you're on the dashboard because I'm up here in the upper left corner and there's that yellow line right over the dashboard. On the dashboard, you will have all of your trip plans. So say you use the current Travel 42 site, the red version, um, any of your trip plans that you created there will then merge over to the new site. Um, you'll be able to do anything you want with these trip plans, whether it be to open it and re-edit something or redo something, edit details, view travelers, send, print, download, copy URL, duplicate, or delete. So any previous trip plans that you worked on, you have all of those capabilities unless you were to delete it, then it will be gone forever. You also have your travelers down here at the bottom. If there's ever gonna be something that you want to send to someone, make sure they have a traveler profile created. That means we have their first name, last name, and email address. So when you're ready to send them something, you can easily do that because they're already added as a traveler. If you're gonna be sending information to yourself, I would suggest doing the same thing for you. So for me, I do have a traveler profile for myself. So I just put my first name, last name, and email address just so I don't get confused with anybody else. But we will never send your clients any sort of information, no newsletters, nothing like that. It's just specifically for you to be able to send information out of Travel 42. Now, if this is your first time using Travel 42, I suggest starting up here in the upper right corner by going to Profile. This will allow you to edit your business card. When you send or print information, you have the option to add a business card or your information. That includes your headshot, your logo, first name, last name, and then your contact information. So add as much as you want there. I'm not gonna go into it, but I also would check out the preferences. This will be very helpful in how you navigate Travel 42. So obviously you don't have to make any changes off the bat. Everything's gonna already pre-populate for you, but if ever you get to a point and you're like, hmm, I wish this worked a little different, check out the preferences tab because you can change things in regards to the client view of the trip, the report items, email, and search. So definitely check that out as well as the business card. Manage account up here. I'm not gonna click on this one, but this is where you would go to change your user ID, password, credit card information to view invoices, any of the financial side of Travel 42. So let's go back to the dashboard. Um, you also have some other features, news and alerts, restrictions powered by Sherpa, e-visa information powered by Sherpa. And earlier I mentioned that this webinar is gonna be recorded. So it's gonna be recorded and placed under here at the help tab, which will be very helpful for anybody who um, may need a refresher on using Travel 42 or may not have used Travel 42. I would definitely keep this help tab open. You can search for anything that you're wanting to find by typing it in the search bar or you can just go through. Now, if you're brand new, I suggest going to getting started and then getting started, or you can watch one of the live webinars or the on-demand webinars that we've recorded. We also have frequently asked questions, tips and tricks, recommendations, and then support and troubleshooting. That's by clicking the help tab up here at the top. So what I'm gonna do first, we're gonna research information. So I'm gonna quickly show you how to quickly send or quickly print a destination guide or a hotel for your clients. So let's go ahead and search for, let's do Florida. You'll notice a drop down populates with some options. You have some destination guides, some hotels, some cruises, and some see and do. So if you see what you're looking for here, go ahead and click on it. Otherwise, go ahead and click on the magnifying glass to pull up all search results. So it's gonna look like two different things. So I will show you really quickly. 
I'm going to click on Florida. I am now in the destination guide of Florida. If I wanted to send, I would simply click send, input the recipient's name or email address. So I've already added myself as the traveler. There I am. Or you can create a new traveler. So if you had forgotten to create a traveler profile on the dashboard, you can also do that when you're about to send the information. So if you click here, you have the same modal that pops up. So you have the first name, last name, and email address, and then you can save that new client. And that's if you click send. So that's a way to quick send this full destination guide. If you wanted to print the full destination guide, you would simply hit print and it will populate a PDF for you that you can save to your computer or you can print from your printer that's connected to your computer. Um, while I wait for that to load, I'm just gonna go on to the next thing. Um, so you can do the same with hotels. So that was for just one destination guide. Oh, here it is. So my PDF is populated and there we go. That's all the information on the Florida destination guide in a PDF. And that's quickly by clicking send or print. Now, if you utilize these buttons, you can only do one at a time. So you can only send or print one destination guide, one hotel, whatever it may be, it can only be one. So if you're wanting multiple things, multiple destination guides, multiple hotels, that's when a trip plan will come in handy. Um, I also wanted to show you under destination guides, there's what's called a hotels tab. If you click on this, you'll be able to see all the hotels within that destination and you can filter those hotels. Not sure why it's not populating for me. Give it one moment. Um, but you can filter hotels by seeing hotels that have a star rating um, or seeing hotels that might be near a beach or seeing all inclusive hotels. You can filter to what hotel specifically fits your needs or your traveler's needs. You can do the same thing with hotels. You can send or print a hotel. And just remember, it's that one hotel or that one destination guide. You can also click view details. One of the big, um, one of the things we're known for is our unbiased star reviews. So that's where we physically send reviewers that we've hired to these properties to write exactly what they see. You'll see that tab within the hotels. Um, right underneath the overview tab, you'll see the star review. Now, if you check this checkbox, what that's going to do is it's going to add this piece of information to a trip plan. And I will show you that. But for right now, I'm not trying to add it to a trip plan. I just want to show you the information. We're just researching. So I'm going to click to the right of the star review tab and look, it just pulled up. It didn't add any information, but this is the star review that we're really known for. The location and history, the property overview, accommodations, non-standard amenities, and then comparable properties. We also have under the overview, the basic info, the photo gallery, the booking info, that's never included in a report. So you don't have to worry about that. Property info and then a map. Now, when you send or print, again, it's going to be in its entirety. If there is something that you wanna leave out, say you don't want to send this basic info or you don't wanna send the star review, that's when you would create a trip plan. So let's go back to the dashboard. We'll pretend like we're starting over completely. So now I'm going to create a trip plan. I'm going to do this very quick. And please know that I have more in-depth webinars under the on-demand training. And I will be hosting a pretty in-depth webinar on the 24th of August, I believe. Um, and then that one will also be recorded. But for now, I'm just going to click create a trip plan. And I'm going to name that trip plan. So the only thing you need to create a trip plan is just the name of the trip plan. All the other information can be added after the fact or not at all if you don't want to add any extra information. You have trip details and then you have a layout. Those are the two options you have when creating a trip plan to remove or add things that might be pertinent for your client. So for now, just to make this quick, I'm going to go ahead and create new trip. Now we are in our workspace. I have no destination guides, no hotels, no crews, no see and do, no custom places. I can now add things into this folder by searching just like we did on the dashboard. So going forward, everything that I search for and put a checkbox in will be added to this trip plan right here. If I wanted to be done with this trip plan and do something else, you would need to click save and close. You're right now telling Travel42, I wanna add information into my Rome trip plan. So let's start by searching for Rome. So when we first started, I clicked on the destination guide in the dropdown. 
Now I'm going to go ahead and click on the magnifying glass so I can see all search results. So your destination guides pop up first. You've got Rome, Italy or Rome, Georgia. You have some see and do. Um, it looks like some local tours, nightlife. There's more within the destination guides, but you can also filter by the search results. Then we have top hotels as well. Um, but I want to go into the destination guide first. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to click view details. Our destination guide has now popped up and you'll notice that most destination guides look pretty similar. You have all your headings over here of what we have information on, and then you can read that information down here in the middle. So once we've created that trip plan, now we simply go in and need to check the items that we want to add to this trip plan. So you can click add photo gallery, add introduction, add highlights. I could go down here and click the checkbox over here which in turn will check the box up here. So it's whichever checkbox you want to click, you just have to make sure when you check something, that's what you want to add. If you say, no, I don't want geography anymore, simply uncheck the box and move on. And you can always come back and edit information as well. So that was the overview tab. I know that because there is a point over here to the right. I wanna go to the see and do tab. So I'm gonna click see and do. Now we have sightseeing. You have historic sites, and these gold ticket items are items that we highly recommend or places that we highly recommend. So you can go through and specifically click all of those. But now that I'm checking boxes, that is the information that is going to be added into my trip plan that I can then send or print. So I'm just going through some items. You've got museums. Then we've got neighborhoods and districts, parks and gardens, recreation, golf, uh, hiking and walking, horseback riding, anything you want to do within a destination is going to be under that see and do tab. Then we have our nightlife. And you'll notice it is a lot of information. You don't have to add everything. But when you get to the bottom, you don't have to go back up to the top to click to the next tab. The very bottom has a next tab that you can go to. So I could either go back to the overview or go next to the dining tab. So now we have some local and regional food. Then we'll add safety information, tips, and then events and hotels. So I wanna add more destinations. I think I'm gonna add a couple more destination guides to this one. So I click the related tab, which will show me nearby destinations or related destinations to the one I'm on. So I'm going to click add item for this, which will then populate a destination template. So we can then pick and choose the items we want, which all that looks pretty good. So I'll keep that. Then we can go into another destination. And some of them don't have as much information, um, but you can simply go back by clicking these breadcrumbs up here to the left. So I can go back to the Rome related tab or you can use the back button on your browser, whichever works easiest for you. So let's view details here. We don't need the port information. We'll go in and add a couple of hotels as well. Let's go back to Rome and we'll do the hotels in Rome. All right, so we're gonna add, or let's do view details. Some people, and I wanted to mention this, some travel agents don't want this basic info added. So you simply just don't, just don't check it if you don't want it added. Anything that you do want added, put a little check box and that just shows that you want to add it into that trip plan. So we'll go to nearby hotels, add item. And when you click add item on a hotel, it means it adds all of the information. So it adds that overview, that photo gallery, that star review, that property, that map, if that hotel information has that. Um, so that's with this add item right here. All right, so I think we've got a good number of destinations and hotels. Let's go back to our Rome trip. Now we'll notice we have information here. I have four destination guides, five hotels, 47 C and do, no custom places. Custom places would be something that might not be listed in Travel 42. So if there's maybe an Airbnb or a restaurant or um, maybe you're going to eat dinner at grandma's house. You can add that as a custom place by, by clicking the plus sign to the right. 
You can put in the URL. The only thing you need to have for a custom place is the name. All of the other options are optional. Um, but if you put in the website URL, we might be able to get this information from the website for you and autofill it. But you can do the place type, the address, the phone number, and then you can type in anything you want here. You can actually copy and paste from a website and place it into this um, text box as, box as well if you want it to make it a little bit easier for you. But that's what a custom place would be. Um, some people also use this as like airline information. So if they're flying to wherever they're going, you can put the airline information here. So that's how to create a trip plan. And you'll notice as opposed to just sending one destination guide or one hotel, I can now send four destination guides, five hotels and 47 C and do's. So if you want to send or print, you simply click this little circle up here in the upper right corner, and I have all the same pieces of information that I did on the dashboard at the very beginning. So you can edit details if you wanted to put more information in. You could view the travelers if you added any. You can send this trip plan, print, download, copy URL, duplicate, delete, or save and close. And please remember, if you're done working on a trip plan, click save and close so that Travel42 now knows that you're done working on that trip plan and you wanna start something new. You can always go back into it by clicking on the name of the trip plan or by clicking here and open. That will allow you to go back in and then you can add information or remove information. If you decide there's a, a destination you don't want, you can click the little trash can over here to the right. If you wanna add a comment, you can do that here as well. Now that was the quick start webinar, just quickly going over all the information. I'm gonna pull up my contact information, which was under my business card in the profile, because I do want you to be able to see um, my email address should you have any questions. Ooh, and real quick, before I do that, one more thing. So organize, that is if you wanted to um, put this information into an itinerary or change the order. So you have either option. Um, I'll go into more, more in-depth information on that in the next webinar on the 24th, but preview is something you could look at as well. Preview, you don't have to do anything on this tab. This is literally just a preview of what the trip plan is going to look like. So you can then go through and kind of see all the bits and pieces of information that you've added, see how it looks, if you wanted to send it, or if you wanted to print it. Now, if you click print download, it'll pull up that PDF for you. You can then save it to your computer um, or you can attach it to an email if you've already got an email written for your clients. Um, but that's the way to get them the information. And obviously it looks like it comes from you. It looks like you, the travel agent, spent all this time putting this information together, not Travel 42. So here's our PDF. It's got my headshot, my logo, the trip plan name, all my business card information. Um, and you can also save if there's a, a trip that you do pretty often, like a lot of your clients go on similar trips, you can always just reuse trip plans. Like if this one was for one client and it pertains also to another client, you can go ahead and reuse that one by clicking. Oh, I clicked into it. Excuse me. By clicking duplicate, that'll create a complete duplicate of that trip plan. Or you can even just reuse this one and edit the details to whatever your new trip plan is gonna be. Um, but that is it for this quick start webinar. I will take any questions. If there's anything you have any questions about, please go ahead and ask. Um, if not, I thank you again for coming to this quick webinar. I will be hosting another one on the 24th. Um, that one will probably be around uh, 11 a.m. Eastern time. And it will probably be around 45 minutes with a 15 or so minute question and answer period. Um, but there are still some webinars that are longer in the help tab. So if you wanna watch something before the 24th, just go to the help tab and on, dem on demand training, um, which is where I'll save all the webinars, including this one, once I get it uploaded.